In this video I made the house from Rick and Morty realistic. This is one of the most ambitious projects I've ever attempted. I know I say this every time, but this project was on another level. I not only had to model the whole house, but also every single piece of trash Rick keeps in the garage. And as if that wasn't enough, our washing machine broke halfway through the project and flooded the whole basement. So I had to move my setup to a different house. That's where I am right now. So here's how I did it all in one week. On day one, I started by watching the show to gather some reference. Once I was done with that, I jumped into my 3D software blend. I began by blocking out the basic shape of the house. I always like to import a model of a human to get the scale right. It wasn't possible to model the house 100% accurately because the house always changes shape when drawn from different angles. I mean, it's a cartoon. Like for example, the garage door mechanism didn't make any sense at all. I mean, how is this supposed to close? So I changed the mechanism a little bit. I put all of the wall and ceiling beams into place and moved onto the furniture. I modeled the workbench, the sink, the washer and some other stuff and moved on to the smaller details. I made the pegboard, the pinboard and the clock. I modeled the rows of wire and hung them on the wall. On day two, I spent five hours modeling everything that's on the shelf and it looked really good once I was done. Then I made the portal gun and sculpted the skull that sits on top of the shelf. As you can see, I have no idea how to sculpt, but no one will look at the skull anyways. Then I made the neighboring houses. I made them really low poly because I won't show a close up of them. On day three, I applied materials and prepared the models for texturing by UV unwrapping them. The scene has over 130 individual materials, so you can imagine that it took forever. Next, I launched Substance Painter. Well, that's when the washer broke. It sprayed water directly into the server rack and killed the router. Without an internet connection, I couldn't even open Substance Painter. But I had to stick to my upload schedule, so I just moved my whole setup to my grandmother's attic. Once I had everything working again, I finally launched Substance painter and started texturing. Now the scene started to look a little bit more presentable. I painted some puddles on the floor and once I had textured every single object I imported the textures back into Blender. Maybe I made some of them a little bit too realistic. On day four, I used some shader magic and displacement to create the glowing energy ball inside of the portal gun. And I extruded some of the faces to create the longer spikes. I almost forgot the roof panels, so I quickly made the roof. Then I copied the script of my last video onto the paper on the pinboard. I obviously used Comic Sans for some of them. So next, I grew some grass in front of the house and planted a few bushes. Well, and that's it. After rendering for 15 hours, this was the result. So leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to download all of the assets I created, you can join my Patreon. And if you want to see how I upgraded the International Space Station, watch this video.